Bertie has been given some sensitive documents by genealogist John Grenham. 3rd of September 33, shock and hemorrhage due to gunshot wound to chest, self-inflicted. The unfortunate man was found lying dead on his bed, in circumstances which suggested that he had shot himself. His wife had died just six months before that. And then my father obviously had, had, had left against his wishes. As I understand it from the, the, the time of the incident, uh, that, was the, that was the story. Like it was a sad end to him because he, he, he apparently was a very uh, hard-working man. At that time, very few people would have ever said somebody commits suicide because at that time people covered that up. But my father, I think for his own reason, made sure that we all understood that. I remember one time getting myself into a bit of a political argument about using the word, even though it's regularly done in sports programs and others. I, I did a political program and, and some of the... Uh, the people who wouldn't have loved me said, oh, if, if, you, if you understood it in your family, you wouldn't have said that. Um, now, I didn't bother saying that I understood it very well in my family because I had grown up and listening to that. My father, after that funeral, he, he went back uh, never to return again for the rest of his life, and he, he died in 1990. So it, it was, um, what, 57 years? But he never came back to any of the funerals of his brothers or sisters, even though he kept you know, touch with, with practically them all. It must have been very hard on all the family that were living in the area, uh, but thankfully they, they stayed put and they stayed in the land and stayed in the farm and stayed in the house. And uh, you know we're, we're here today in, the, in, the, in exactly the same house as it, as it was um, uh, at that time. <laughs>